There's not much rain reaching the ground there, but a little bit farther to the north, some of those sprinkles making their way down to the ground. As we head into the evening, our 80s are long gone. 76 right now at Hector. Winds still from the southwest at 6 miles per hour. It's a degree warmer in Moorhead. Still 81 in Jamestown, 82 Gwinter, and 81 in Cavalier. Although Langdon has 70 degrees now, quite a range of temperatures to the north with spotty showers and thunder showers across western Minnesota. A lot of low 80s right now, mid 80s in Bedette. Here's some sprinkles working their way through the FM area where you see the yellows just north of town, say between Hillsboro and Halstead. We're seeing those uh, shifting off to the east as we head into the evening hours. These extend all the way up through Cooperstown and New Rockford down to the south towards Barnesville right now. So we take you into this line. No thunder or lightning taking place with this. We're not expecting severe weather tonight, but some soaking showers through much of uh, Eddy and Foster County. And then up to the north, we do have a little bit of lightning showing up with the showers. And these, uh, this line of thunder showers here, really forming and staying over the same area. So some beneficial rainfall coming from these cells uh, from the Walsh County area through Towner County. As we head into the evening hours, a pretty wet pattern is taking shape with a line of thunder showers making its way into the capital city at this hour. Your hour by hour forecast shows this evening we're going to have hit and miss and passing showers and thunder showers as we go through now and 10 o'clock as temperatures slip back into the 60s. Our wind will become more easterly as a low pressure system works its way through the region. All night long we'll have periods of rain showers continuing throughout the southern valley primarily. Up north there's a lower chance of rainfall from our weather making system that we'll be enjoying on Tuesday. Again, this could help bring relief from the fire danger as well as uh, green things up just a little bit. Temperatures to start your day mid 50s for most as we go through the day, passing periods of showers mainly focused from the Red River and points east throughout the day. We will have hit and miss showers off to the west, but the best chance will be from the southern Red River Valley into central Minnesota. By the evening, we'll still see passing showers primarily uh, to the east, and they just persist into the evening hours with temperatures that will be much cooler than today. Here's Fargo's planner, 58 to start the day, on and off again showers, mainly in the morning half of the day, then partly to mostly cloudy and temperatures in the mid and upper 60s for our afternoon. 71 Aberdeen, 64 for Langdon, and temperatures with all the rain showers in central Minnesota could be in the mid and upper 50s for many of you. Here's a great rail shot. Thanks so much for uploading your photo there, Tiffany. A Comstock scene with a beautiful uh, skyline behind it. Wednesday, more showers, but mainly on the Minnesota side of the river. Temperatures still holding in the 60s. We cool off on Thursday quite a bit, but it does look dry. Friday, more rain potential as we close out the work week. Heading into your weekend and all important Mother's Day. Looks like we'll start Seeing temperatures warm up just a bit, no 80s for mom, but 70s with some dry conditions for Sunday the way it looks now. Here's a day to